Since its invention, the freezer, whether at home or in a shop, with this cabinet, every frozen product is easily identified. Is a convenience often taken for granted. But for Philippa, this appliance has haunted her for 46 years, making her too terrified to even get close to one. So we brought her here to the icebox at the new Covent Garden Market. Well, with our help, we hope that we can get Pip to walk into... Here, because to get over your fears, you, you have, have to, to face, face them. them. They make over half a million ice cubes here every day and have two giant freezers big enough to fit a car into. So this truly is Philippa's biggest nightmare. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. I can see you're looking a bit frightened. So do you have any idea how this started? We think it came from when I was a young child, probably around the age of three. My grandmother had a big chest freezer. I can remember it coming down really slowly and then slamming shut. My grandmother might have said something to frighten me, to get me to keep away from the freezer. That makes a lot of sense and it certainly works. So you've had this fear for 46 years? Yes. And how does it affect your life? My anxiety levels go through the roof. I can't go in and out of the freezer at home. If I'm in a stranger's house or in the kitchen, I got to leave the room. So how about shopping? Like, so, you know, you want to go a bit, do a bit of shopping, I mean, and you needed some frozen goods, what would happen? Well, I'd go to a specific store and I'm friendly with a lot of the staff there, so I'd ask them to go in the freezer for me. That's really nice, but it shouldn't have to be that way, should it? So what about when you're at home then? Obviously, you look after your mum. Yeah, she's got to do it at the moment. She's got to go in the freezer instead of you. And it's really difficult for her. You need to change, don't you? Four to six years is long enough. In order to cure Philippa, Nick and Eva need to find out just how deep her phobia is. We stood outside an industrial freezer here, Pip. What we'd like to know, if you were to scale your discomfort or anxiety on zero to ten, where would you be right now? Probably about an eight or nine. An eight or nine, eight just or standing nine. outside. My, well, just my heart's racing, my, my stomach's starting to, to knock, to make my tears dry, and I just feel like I just want to get away. OK, so we've got an industrial freezer, Inside which, a normal kind of house freezer. How would you feel about going in? Do you want us to try opening the door? Oh, no. We can't open the door. This is the closest you can be to this freezer. Yeah. What about if I were to just... Oh, no. And what if I was to start opening this now? I'll go over you. So, so you need to get away? Yeah. So that anxiety now, is that reaching a tap? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. All right, all right, come all right. on. Should we go and get this fixed? Yeah, okay. come on, let's, let's walk go. away. The worst it's going to be. Oh. It soon becomes apparent just how scared Philippa is. Yeah. Time for the Speakmans to work their magic. Thank you. I remember some government information ads about children and freezers and how they could get locked in freezers. Do you remember any of that yeah. stuff? Yeah, I do. OK. If I was to say, what is the most frightening freezer to you, what is it? Oh, chest freezer. There we go, right, OK. You love your grandma, I take it. Yeah. A lot, I can see. Yeah. You're going towards this chest freezer and she shouts at you. Why did she shout at you? Because the freezer was dangerous. You didn't like your grandma shouting at you, did you? Oh, no. She didn't do it often at all. Right, OK. Who in that moment caused the fear in you? I think my gran. Who, sorry? My gran. OK. What did the freezer do? Nothing. Sorry? Nothing. Right, I'm glad you're laughing because your gran shouts at you yeah. and you decide to blame the freezer <laughs> and for 46 years you've been punishing them ever since <laughs> because your gran shouted at you, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Essentially, this fear was caused by your grandma because she was trying to protect you from danger, but there was no danger, really. No. Had you been in the house on your own and the chest freezer was open and you could have fallen in, that could have been dangerous, but that wasn't the circumstances. If you fell in a chest freezer right now, what would you do? Out. You get out, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, yeah. So you've been really mean to freezers for 46 years. And if I'm dead honest with you, you've got a freezer right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> we didn't want to say anything. Just pull the door. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go in? Yeah. Okay. Come on, let's go in. Come on, come on. I can't believe it. Where are you? In the freezer. Yeah. For loads of ice. I must have done so much ice cream. <laughs> Zero to ten. Anxiety, where are you? Oh, I haven't got any. <laughs> <laughs> They've come a long, long way together. This is Philippa by a freezer earlier in the morning. But is she now ready for the final challenge? The dreaded chest freezer. Oh, wow. 
She certainly is. And is so excited, she calls her mum to share the news. It's all done. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> and just when you thought the story couldn't get any more remarkable, how about this? It took just seven minutes and ten seconds for the Speakmans to cure Philippa's 46-year phobia.